Good day everybody, welcome to another 3D printer video. In this video, we're gonna look at the flexible filament that I picked up. Basically, the flexible filament. Apparently, you can print stuff that's flexible. So, I've never uh, used this stuff before, but you can see right here, it's pretty flexible in its form. I got it in green, and we're gonna print it on the Dreamer NX. The only problem with the Dreamer NX is that it is designed for the rolls smaller rolls than what I got so using the holder it's not going to work however there's already been a fix around that and someone's already developed a new peg so I'm going to install this and then we're going to see how the new roll fits just for reference I removed the other roll just so you guys can see it is quite a bit larger and that's why I got to put that in all right, it's put in. I don't have the right space to print it off yet. Had to adjust the straw on the back, but I think it'll work. The filament's just coming out to flexible. There we go. Push the PLA out. I think it'll work. There's only one way to find out. So we're gonna do a test print of the GoPro Session lens cap. 28 minutes. I printed a raft as well because I'm not sure how it's going to work with a raft. So I guess we're going to find out. First time printing was flexible filament. I was going to say PLA, but it's not. So I'm just going to say flexible filament. Just getting up to temperature. And we'll start laying down some plastic. Almost at the magic temperature. I'm just using the default settings, 205, and the platform's 50 degrees. Use that as a baseline and see what's gonna happen. It's almost glowing. Kind of hard to see through the glass, but it looks like the print's starting off all right. There we are, it's printed. Let's get it off the table and have a look. Here it is, my first flexible print. It's flexible like it says. GoPro Session Lens Cap. Now it'll be off to print something a little bit bigger and see what happens. Just trying something right now before I print. I'm gonna preheat it for like five minutes and then print. I find sometimes um, the first layer may not go on nice if the printer's just turned on and load it and go. So I'm gonna see if uh, preheating it for a few minutes makes a difference. That's yeah, nice and toasty and warm. Let's go to stop. Back it up. Print. Memory card. Jeep grill flexible. It's already at temperature, so it should just go up. Get into position and start printing.
The first layer didn't go down so nice on the raft. I may have to adjust with some temperature. I'm running 200 degrees. I might have to crank up the temperature. It says we're temperature is running for this filament 200 to 220. So the next print I might have to boost it up 205. See what happens. turned out all right it's gonna remove the supports but I was gonna wonder how something skinny would print that's flexible no raft just printing right on the heated bed so far everything seems to be looking good thirty one percent five hours into printing Turned out pretty darn good if I must say so myself. We'll get it out of here and have a better look So here we are the final product this one on the right is the hard plastic PLA gold nut I think it'd probably work and then this one here was printed with the flexible of course and actually turned out really good It's got some flex in it as you can see. I think it would work definitely Only one way to find out is to take it out and try it but the print did turn out extremely nice. And then again, here's the hard, hard plastic. So I might have to try them both out and see. The hard plastic would be definitely easier cleaning. Guess we'll see. Guess we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here of the Flash Forge Dreamer NX using a flexible filament. I've been pretty impressed with this printer. It's actually... Uh, very nice i've been you know the print quality has been excellent so if you guys have any questions or comments post them below otherwise i want to thank you guys for watching